Right, for today's video, we're going to do a bit of a sump overview for my African cichlids. So we're going to have a look here. So we'll just do a quick overview and then we'll break it down. So overflow comes down here. It's through there. Over this baffle. Down through the media. Back up. And that's the ATO. Float valve. So I'll tell you why I've done a few of these things. We'll start with the most important thing, which is your media. So you want to make sure you've got <clears throat> as much water going through this as possible. I'm using Matrix, Seachem Matrix, and just some basic spheres. I've also got a bag of carbon in there, which I replace probably once a month. That just helps with the coloring of the water. Um... <laughs> I've got some babies down here, some juvenile electric yellows. So one good thing about having the sump set up is I don't need a separate tank. So parents are up there, isolate them down here. Plus they're near the heater, so technically should be a little bit warmer, which is gonna promote some growth. So you can see them, they're looking pretty good. I've got my backup thermometer. And I've just got an ammonia alert, just as a safety measure. Two heaters, two, I think, 300 watts. Probably could go stronger, but they do the job. Now, just a, just a basic lamp, just to give me some light under here. Nothing crazy. And then, where the filter socks would have gone, and I've replaced them with some pot, pots, plastic pots from Bunnings. Uh, you can look at my No More Filter Socks video if you really want to see what I've done here. Works a treat. And then about a couple months ago I realized, well, I could buy some of this uh, media, just some sponge, just to trap anything that gets through there, as well as I use this component compartment here to act as like a, a refuge for any fish in the main display that I don't know, getting bullied or females that have been holding eggs for too long I can put them in there and it just made it easier so I didn't have to keep putting my net underneath these the baffle there and getting mixed up with the with the filter area so good to have a spare compartment there um, what else can I say really? I put another one in here as well just so the babies don't get into my media. I had a couple in there I had to go fishing for them. That was very time consuming so yeah just a few adjustments there. Some's pretty good. The ATO valve it's actually I've just done a water change so it's a little bit higher that'll drain a little bit and then that will be fed from my ATO reservoir at the back of the tank which is built in these tanks um, yeah keep it simple keep it clean that's the way I like it keep in mind I did do a water change today so that's why it's looking very clean uh, to give you an idea of the color that it might be in a couple days just that section there so it's only this clean because I did a water change today but, who doesn't like a good tank? Good, clean tank. Alright, so there you go. Keep it simple.